Hello there, and welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Online. This is just a, a, a short video uh, to accompany a blog post I made the other day about the various free bags uh, and bags that don't cost turbine points that you can get in Dungeons and Dragons Online. DDO loves to bombard you with ingredients and collectibles and all manner of things because I think it might have something to do with them wanting you to buy the bags. But you can put that moment off for quite a long time and I'm just going to have a quick run around and show you the bags you can get straight off the boat. Uh, this is a little chap I've just made and he's in Corthos which is the starter island and he just gets on the boat to Stormreach and everybody knows about uh, th this one here, Mary Moss Hand. She will give us a small collectible bag and a small gem bag. Right. Now, moving up through the harbour, it's going to be a little bit of a hike. This is a monk. I uh, picked this because they're a little bit faster on their feet. The uh, small collectibles bag she just gave me has 12 slots, and the small gem bag has 6. But gem bags aren't too important because you pretty much just sell everything that's in them. Uh, every time you just go to the shops. Collectibles and ingredients, on the other hand, uh, you want to keep hold of. Particularly as most collectibles are ingredients now, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So we just run through the harbour to a relatively new NPC who came in with the Kenneth crafting system, which quadrupled the number of ingredients there are in the game at least. Here he is, Felix de Kenneth. He will now give us a tiny ingredients bag. So, we have a small collectibles bag, small gem bag, and a tiny ingredients bag, which also has 12 slots. If we head into the marketplace, this is where we get into the ones that aren't quite so obvious. We're going to head to an area called the Twelve, who are like this mysterious bunch of mages uh, who watch over Stormreach. Uh, where are they? I can never remember where the entrance is. Here we are. No, that's the Searing Heights. Here we go. You can tell I don't rehearse these things. Here we are. Uh, this is actually a uh, sort of mid-level area. So you don't tend to come here until you're level 10 or so. But, if you take the time to pay them a visit, They've got a gift for you. I should have got this chap uh, some better, better haste boost, bo uh, boots. Crafted some up for him. But it's a monk. Monks get speed boost anyway. Though not very much at this level. He's level 4. He's a veteran character. Because uh, I can start them at level 4. Which you can unlock with uh, favour if you want. Now here we go. Over here is a Genselm Brucetius. Who will give us a small ingredients bag which uh, will hold 30 and that's it for the completely free bags I'm afraid here we are back in the marketplace however there are bags you can buy with gold and I will just show you where you can get those uh, these aren't quite so well known because they're kind of tucked away so they're not immediately obvious to new players and what you get is you get people buying them and then putting them up for sale on the auction house for a uh, exorbitant, exorbitant uh, amounts of money. So if we can stop that happening, that would be brilliant. So here we go, we head, head into House Fialan. Who are uh, entertainers and spies. Uh, mostly with the Mark of Shadows. So we will just... Now these bags are not particularly cheap uh, when you're starting out. They will cost about 9,000 uh, platinum. Depending on your haggle skill, which can make all the difference. So here we are. The shop is called the Erstwhile Emporium. And Drudori Alzander here has three bags she will sell us. A medium collectibles bag, which will hold 30 again. 
a medium gem bag and a s another small ingredients bag. Now, the thing with all of these three bags is that they're, they're marked as exclusive, which means you can only have one of them in your inventory at a time. However, you can have more than one of them in your bank or in your shared bank if you have that facility. Uh, that's p so that's probably the small, same small ingredients bag Brusettius just gave me. Uh, so it wouldn't be that useful to buy one unless I wanted extra storage space. And the way that uh, you get ingredients, you really are going to want several of those in the bank eventually. Uh, now 9,000 plats is quite a lot of money when you're starting, but if you sell collectibles and the like on the auction house, you can actually rack that up pretty quickly. I've written guides to that on my website if you want to take a look. I should also mention that there are three large bags that drop as loot uh, in chests in dungeons once you get to around the mid-level range. Uh, these aren't exclusive and can in fact be sold between players and you'll find them on the auction house for ridiculous amounts of money. We're talking 500,000 plat or so. Well, it's ridiculous to me. If you're level 20, probably not so much. You can also get the large uh, bags by trading in 100, 150 planar shards from the subterrane, but that's a level 16 wilderness zone, uh, and requires you to have bought the Vault of Twilight uh, adventure pack. So that's not something you're going to do as a free player right away at any rate, and certainly not as a newbie. You can also get the large ingredient bag for 100 favour with the 12, but once again their lowest level adventure is level 15, so you're not going to do that as a, as a starting character. So you're looking at you're basically looking at these four bags, and maybe the ones from the shop when you can scrape up the cash. And that's it for bags. While I'm about it, I will just talk about uh, bank and inventory slots. You can see a starting character starts with three inventory tabs. You can get a fourth inventory tab for a mere seventy-five coin lord uh, coin coin lord coin lord favor. Uh, which is very easy to do, uh, even as a free player, because many of the adventures in the harbour and the marketplace are Coin Lord faction. You get favour, uh, I'm sure you know this already, you get favour by completing adventures on different uh, difficulty levels. You get the maximum amount of favour for completing it on Elite, and once you've done that, you don't have to do it again. It's basically just... Uh, this character ha obviously hasn't done any uh, any adventures. You can click on Patron there at the top and it will show you all the Coin Lord adventures that are available to you. Or that exist, I should say. It will also show ones that you, you would have to buy. For 150 Coin Lord favour, uh, you have the opportunity to get a fifth adventure tab. But first you need to find a collapsed portable hole. Now you'll find these in chests, once again, from about level 8 upwards. Uh, and then you have to take it to a chap and give him 10,000 plat. But it's a fifth inventory uh, tab, so it's brilliant. You can also uh, get bank tabs from House Kundrak. A uh, 75 House Kundrak faction will allow you to have a second bank tab, and 150 will allow you to buy a third. Uh, so that's all things you can do without spending uh, any money, because there are enough well, there's enough uh, free adventures for you to get 75 Kundurak Faction uh, favour, I should say. And I think there's just about enough for you to get 150, but you'd probably be quite high level by then. So, that's it for bags and inventory slots. I hope somebody, would fi somebody finds this useful. I will uh, put this on my site, right under the post I did on uh, arcsarc.org slash blog and you take care out there happy adventuring <laughs>